Cheers, guys. How's it going? I'm going to show you something. That's uh, what open has come to 13. Make some out tuning. It is from 2004. 16 years. Oh my god. And what I want to show you is how you check piston rings. These are the piston rings. The kit has approximately 20,000 kilometers on it. And we're now going to measure this gap here. Inside when they are in the cylinder. So let's put them in. Even. Let's see if I can zoom in. Now you see the gap, and now you take a gouge and you check how big this gap is. Take 0 0.25, 0 0.3. Zero point four. Uh huh. That's close. And a zero point five. Zero point five does fit. So this ring has zero point five millimeters. It's the top ring. That's the bottom ring. What does it have? More or less? What's your guess? Grimes even. I say it has more, so let's start with 0 0.6. Schwoop. It swallows 0 0.6. And 0 0.7. Ooh. Interesting, isn't it? 0 0.8 0 0.8 okay this cylinder kit definitely needs new piston rings I will put the formula recommended by Grossport in the video is 0 0.036 um, for every 10 millimeter of bore something like that so I guess it's 0 0.26 on your rings that's how you check your rings take the rings and do measure the gap this one just to be on the safe side just control it I will put the right formula in the video then lost my beam there it is cheers guys if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe You have to roughen the surface. Sandpaper and put it in the drill, some oil in it and roughen it up. You give full throttle. And you close the throttle, full throttle, close the throttle. And these two parts are um, sandpapering each other, roughening each other up perfectly. How can you see if an engine 
occurred here, this means there's blow by. Not if the skirt is black, the rings are not tight and the engine was broken in the soft way. If you run it in the hard way, the piston looks like this. There is nearly no or zero blow by. Uh -huh.